sell whatever they want. They can. Yeah. Actual fish now. I'm really excited. This is my favorite type of pizza. Like the Napoli, yeah, but like really good. There's this really good place in Little Italy called Bottega, and their pizza's like this. Well, I haven't had this pizza, but it looks like this. We're at this really cool restaurant. Um, what's this called? Brig Brig Brigade or something? It's a really cool place, and you basically make your own pizza, but what I love about this is it's Napolitana pizza, so it's like really thin crust. Um, and I got this, it's strawberry mint lemonade, it's amazing. And I'm so excited to eat, this is like my favorite. So that's my, Jake got a four cheese pizza. Jake's gonna be remain anonymous. He's being hounded. What? <laughs> You're being <laughs> hounded by followers. Yeah. So this is my pizza. I got um, basically just vegetables and Italian sausage, and Mike says it's better than our favorite pizza place here. I'm excited. Oh, it was dark. I thought we were going to come out as going to be Mike, did you like it? Yeah, I would like it cheaper. He looks so cozy. It's such a cross day. Are you cozy, pumpkin? Look at you. You look like so tiny. He's gaining weight. He's like a chubby little boy now. Oh yeah. Oh. You ready to go? Do you want to show your hat? It's covered in lint. No, I have to. I have one in my car. I have one in my car. <gasps> Bye, Ben. I'll see you after. Okay, okay. Love you. Friends. So Mike's making fun of me because I always come in here to look at my outfit, but I'm just wearing Wonder Under Leggings, this top from Brandy Melville that I think it's supposed to look like the Marlboro sign, but it says Darling, and then the Gucci bag, and then I have this bomber because it's raining. It's from Zara. It's Army. I love bombers. Do you want to do an outfit of the day? H&M, Yeezy. Oh, you have Nike? Sure. No, these are, these are Nike. Okay. And, uh, is it American Apparel? I'm gonna do a hat. I have to clean it. Yeah, okay, let's go. Here. Let me see. Wow. You said you liked them. I love them. They look so tiny. No. What size are they? Nine and a half. You tried it on. Yeah, wait for the one now. <laughs> okay. Work, I'm not gonna wear them nowhere. Just... Why don't you wear them? So I don't wanna ruin them? You can get another pair. No. <laughs> Are they your first pair of Nikes? No, I have a Nike. Oh. But they're my, they're my first nice pair of Nikes. <laughs> so Michelle and I came to sushi shop. We wanted to go to like an actually good sushi restaurant. But Don't see that. Sushi shop's good. Okay, it's good, but like, you know, like a legit, like like, a, yeah. not like a fast food. So I got a vegetarian and then a chicken roll with avocado. And I don't know what Michelle got. He probably got crazy stuff. So we'll show you what he I got. got. He spent literally sixty dollars at sushi shop. I didn't even know that I was got possible. Us tacos. <laughs> he got tacos. I love soy sauce. Okay. You want it to share? It looks like I watered it down. Don't you find? Yeah, it's like seafood. I like that though. I like salty. I like the low soy. We should so stop. So what did you get? I got. This is a spring roll with mm. salmon inside. They it give like it to you. It's like a burrito. I think. I mean, I guess you could call it like the burrito of sushi. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Oh, it's so cute. Yeah. See, Thank everywhere you. we go, we bring mucho with us. <laughs> <laughs> and oh, then yummy. Salmon sushi. Wow. Oh, you're the best. Thank you. You with this, and it's so good. You want to try yeah, it? Yeah, I do want to try it. You would love it. Oh my god, this looks so yummy. Hey guys, so it is Tuesday evening. Today I had a relaxed day for like the first time in a while since I got back from Greece it's just been like non-stop go 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 and I'm not complaining because like you know I love oh, it's a little booby it's just this angle so let me lower it a little but um since I got in back from Greece it's just been like go 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 constantly I'm not complaining because I'm so thankful to be able to do what I do and I love everything that I do but yeah, I just got really worn out because I remember like it seems like my weekends, like I used to actually relax on my weekends, like with Mike and stuff, but 
we have been like just doing a lot of stuff every single weekend so I don't even get time like downtime on the weekend it's like all week I'm doing stuff I'm working seeing friends dance class um, YouTube videos filming editing and then on the weekends I don't even get like really time to relax today I woke up and I felt really nauseous plus I am looking for play for a new place um, I got a lot of questions about like why I was looking at places or if I was thinking about looking at places but uh, as you guys know I don't know if I've said it but my parents like we were selling our house just the house is really really big um, for what we use it for and personally in my opinion I don't find that the builders did a good job of like spacing out the space adequately my parents bedroom is huge it's like massive and my parents bathroom is actually bigger than my room if that gives you any perspective so I feel like they made the master bedroom really really huge and then mine and Tony's bedrooms are pretty small um, and then we don't use the basement we don't use the formal dining room we don't use the formal living room so there's just there's a lot of wasted space in the house and so my parents like listed it a while ago but since it is like you know such a big house and the area we live in can be a little bit more expensive um, it took a while to sell so it sold which is really cool and exciting a lot of stuff has happened off of YouTube that I haven't ever really discussed so there's you know I love it's a place I grew up like we moved there when I was around 10 years old but at the same time I also there's also not so great memories associated with that house I know a lot of people think like my life is perfect but there's a lot that happened in the past that I just never talked about it's really exciting I don't know I love decorating and my house like right now it's not really my style so I'm really excited to uh, like potentially move into my own place depending on uh, what my parents decide to do but I'm not sure we went to go look at this beautiful beautiful condo and it was beautiful but it's so much smaller than what we're used to I'm that type of person where I'm home a lot because of my job I just don't know if that's it's not okay it's a beautiful place but it's a lot smaller than we're used to so everyone has to make compromises when you're downsizing and everything I get that but I'm lucky enough to be in a position where I can afford to move out on my own I'm 21 I'm very fortunate to be in a position where I can you know move out if I wanted to and so I'm looking at that option I really am I know I've been talking about it for a while and I mean if my parents were staying in this house I don't think I would move out like on my own just yet um, but since like you know my parents are downsizing into like a condo I I just don't know if that amount of space will work so I'm looking at my own place we'll see um, I don't know but I am really, you know, the more I think about it, the more I like the idea of having my own space, having my own, you know, kitchen. It'd just be cool to have my own place, like, because I do try and be respectful, like, with my friends and everything. Like, if I know my mom, like, has had a long day, I want to invite my friends over. So it would just be nice to have a place that's, like, mine, that I can have people over when I want to have people over and stuff like that. So it's something that I'm definitely looking into. I am going to see two... Um, condos tomorrow they're called condos but honestly I feel like they're they're more apartments like, like I'm a very independent person and uh, contrary to popular belief I've been paying for my own things for a suit for a really long time now so I can afford to so I'm looking into it just because I gotta do what's best for me you know I think it'll also be really exciting um, to document that whole experience of you know getting an apartment or condo and decorating anyways now I am on my way to this um, restaurant and the reason why I'm, I wanted to go to this restaurant was because they have really good it's a Greek restaurant and they have really good lentil soup um, it tastes so good so I'm really just craving that like I haven't really had much of an appetite today I had a piece of toast and then I had one of my premier protein shakes that I mixed with PB2 and half a banana and that's it today so I wanted something like maybe like a soup and salad sort of idea but mostly I wanted the lentil soup because it's super comforting and I think really good so meeting Mike there now and then Mike has to go do a return at Zara because on Friday, I was super busy with um, coffee and couture, and he was going to the mall, and I saw a pair of shoes 
on, actually it was Mel Soldera, she posted, you guys know I'm like all about the slides. I have, I actually have my all my slides here. I have my Givenchy slides, I have my Puma gray furry slides, and Mel posted a picture of these really cute slides from Zara that had black and white and like brown fur, and I really, really liked them. Um, so I sent Mike a picture and I asked if he, while he was at the mall he, he could just go check for me, and they had one pair left in a 6.5 and that's the size of my Puma slides but they're just a tad too small I have flat feet like the lengthwise is fine but I have flat feet so it doesn't really fit as comfortably because I have wide feet these are my Puma ones and I love them but I was I'm like obsessed with Brielle um, Beer, Beerman um, Kim Zoliak Beerman's daughter she was a real housewife of she was a real housewife or whatever. I never watched her, but like I followed Brielle because I thought she was really pretty. And I then I started following her mom. <laughs> but Brielle posted a snap story last night of like Kim's outfit. And it was like leggings, a crop top, and like um, black fur slides. And Brielle was like, she's wearing slippers. And she's like, bitch, shut the fuck up. <laughs> these, these aren't slippers. They have mink fur on them. And I thought that was so funny. Like, it's so me. I started packing up my room yesterday I went through my closet I threw out so much stuff I sold um, a few like my big things I was really surprised at how fast they sold because normally things don't go that fast um, like I put up for sale my Louis Vuitton makeup bag the reason why I sold it is because I bought this makeup bag okay so you guys know I bought the Louis Vuitton monogram makeup bag in this exact shape this exact size and I bought it in May it's actually May 11th I bought it because you guys know I love the multicolor by Louis Vuitton. I love the multicolor, but they don't sell it really anywhere. Um, you have to buy it pre-loved, and I've been searching and searching for pre-loved, but it was a different color interior than I wanted, or or the condition it was in was really shitty, so I was like, whatever, I'll just buy myself a little monogram makeup bag. I love the monogram Louis Vuitton. Fast forward to like the end of May, I actually, it was when I started doing a lot of escape rooms, so it was probably end of May, beginning of June, I was browsing, um, I got this on eBay, and I was browsing eBay, and I saw that a seller who I had purchased from before had posted this, and so I scooped it up, and I was like, oh, there's really no need for me to have two exact same size makeup bags, because that's just like, you know, wasteful. I just keep like things in here. So I was like, there's really no need for me to keep the makeup bag because I have it in this exact, it was like the exact same shape, it was just a different pattern. So I was like, I'm just gonna sell it because I don't need two of the same things. So I posted that on Saturday. It sold super, super quickly. And then I posted my blue um, Rebecca Minkoff bag. And I had, like I mentioned it in my last vlog and I literally got so many emails and comments about the, the blue Rebecca Minkoff bag. And then within minutes of posting that bag, it sold. And then I decided to sell my Louis Vuitton Emily wallet because I don't use big wallets. I feel like, like no offense to anyone who carries a big wallet, but for me, I just feel like they're out. Like I don't carry a big wallet around, like no matter what purse, if it's one of my speedies, if it's my Gucci bag, like I don't carry big wallets around. So I sold that and within minutes of posting that, that also sold. So I was really shocked. And so now I just need to take pictures of like all the clothes and I'm gonna sell the clothes for like really cheap, probably like $20 and under, unless it's like, you know, like a high, unless it's like a higher end brand or something that's, you know, worth more. But most of the things I'm gonna try and get rid of for $20 or under. So, this top is like very boobalicious and reminds me that I should probably film a boob update. I need to get some new bras. This is a bra that I ordered from Toby. No, not from Toby. This is a bra that I ordered from Fashion Nova. It's a sort of bra that I ordered from Fashion Nova. Um, but I thought I would need a large just because my boobs are like really big but I should have gone on a medium so because there's just like a lot of extra fabric and I guess because I'm a little bit smaller the the like strap is at the tightest it can go and it's still not tight enough so my boobs look a little bit more saggy than I'd like them to be but yeah so don't get if you I don't know like see there's like so much extra fabric it's cute bra though. I'm gonna make this the thumbnail. My boob job mistake. This reminds me that I should I should film a update video 
So if you have any questions you want me to answer, leave them in the comments below and I will answer them. But yeah, so I really like the color of this bra. Like it's very comfortable, but like there's just like a ton of extra fabric, see? So this will probably be like my at home comfy bra, but I'm sad because it was really cute. So don't up a size. Like if you like me and you think you need to up a size because you think you have bigger boobs, don't. Because I should have gotten a medium. Let me know if you have any questions you want answered about my boobs. Um, because I everyone always asks for updates, and I'm like, there's nothing really to update, but I guess people are curious. Anyways, this I wanted to show you. This is called Glow Me by Impressions Vanity. Don't buy it from Impressions Vanity. You can literally look on eBay and get them for $5. I was a moron and I just, you know, ordered the first one I saw without, you know, researching. But don't order it from the Impressions Vanity. Just order it from eBay. It's like five bucks. So, yeah. So I ordered the, this. Sierra ordered it too. But basically, you guys know the Lumi case. It's like a giant brick phone case. Garnier actually sent me a Lumi phone case, which I was really thankful for because they are really expensive, but... They're, okay, so I never really had an interest in in buying a Lumi case just because they're really clunky. Tony has one and it's like a brick. But also, they're like $74 at Urban Outfitters. So I never had an interest in buying one because I like a thinner phone case. So I saw this on Instagram and it's basically like, you know those ring lights we all use for our videos? It's like that, but for your phone. Um... So I thought maybe like this would be good at nighttime for vlogs. I mean, I don't think you can tell much of a difference now. So this is with, is this the highest? Yeah, so this is without. And then I'm gonna put on the highest. And you ask, is there a difference? I don't know, it's not dark out. But yeah, don't order, is that the brat? Yeah, Mike's here. Don't order it from Impressions Vanity because you're paying a lot more just for the name. They probably get it from eBay and slap, like slap on a logo. So he's watching me. He's wearing his Justin Bieber hat. Okay. So this is what we came for. This is what you came for. Play this song. It's so good. I wish we had some red wine vinegar. That's how the Greeks eat it. Mm. I'm trying to decide if I want to get a pair of these black slides because I love these so much. But I don't know. But I'm running to I got some things really quick. Here we go. I clearly have a time. I wanted to get the translucent powder. Universal. They're sold out. Oh. Crisis averted. What? We've been in here for 16 minutes. No. In 16 minutes now. <laughs> No, it hasn't. <laughs> Darren wants to show his new jacket. Darren, show your new jacket. Hi. This is my new jacket. <laughs> it looks really good. It's got a pocket. Yeah. He I love bombers. Yeah. He fills in them. Love bombers. Tony <laughs> used... Tony? I have this one and Tony used it all, so I need to get a good bronzer. Well, Tony owes me a bronzer, so I'm just trying to find which one I want. Look how cute these are, guys. They're like mini things. Okay, I'm done. I'm going to play now. 